what is good, everybody? It's your boy, JCA Reactions. I'm John, and I'm back once again for another Death Battle video. And this is one I've been anticipating for very much so. Uh, Zuko versus Shoto Todoroki. Avatar versus My Hero Academia Death Battle. Uh, I'm so excited about this one right here, bro. Uh, this is going to be a little bit difficult for me because I don't know who I'm signed with. I do not know. I was going to say Todoroki because he got fire and ice. And I, and I recall Zuko getting, um, getting, the, getting his face burn, burned up by his by his daddy during the Agni Kai. But then I remember Todoroki had got got um, burned through, um, burned with hot boiling water by his mama and whatever. But uh, I do not know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we are gonna have to. I'm. I'm gonna wait till I the stats, and then I'm gonna go ahead and check in the video. I'm already. I'm already. I got. I got one. One win so far. You can go ahead and get into it. Anyway, if y'all um, do I still say that now? No, I don't say this anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and get into the video. So without further ado, about to give out this kind of strict for me to you. Let's get it. Yeah, they both. Hey, yeah, anime character. I'll forget it. Like Prince Zuko, the firebending hunter of the Avatar, the last airbender. And Shoto Todoroki, the prodigal son of fire and ice from My Hero Academia. He's wears an eye boomstick. And but Todoroki ain't got no real right. fighting style neither. To find out who would win a death battle. Ooh, oh, no, Earth. bro. Four elemental nations once coexisted peacefully. Then everything changed when the fire nation, nation attacked. Yeah, the cranky old fire lord went and conquered basically the whole world. And a hundred years later, the equally powerful master of fire, Ozai, continued that tyranny. Many believed his rule would one day pass to either his daughter, Azula, or his son, Zuko. Yeah, fire dead. But he Azula. too ego crazy for that. He drove Azula mad, even though he did clearly favor her. Poor little Zuko got screwed over from the beginning. That's what I'm saying. Imagine your dad saying that while your sister was born lucky, you were just lucky to be poor. I can't imagine my dad saying anything to me. Oh, right. Uh, well, despite this, Zuko was... Everybody, everybody can relate. What a fine work ethic. But he screwed up by talking out a turn in a big boy meeting. So naturally, his dad took him aside, sat him down, and taught him the importance of respecting others. Oh, wait, just kidding. He burned his friggin' but, face off. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, Holy shit. With his new scar. And look at the soul that she had the body. He would hunt down the elusive avatar, the one threat to his nation's rule, to prove himself to his father and regain his honor. Which is just a nice way of saying he was banished so he could never come back. Just like my dad didn't. Though, frankly, Zuko did have the talent and training he needed to capture someone even as powerful as the Avatar. Right. Damn right, he's a fighting pro. Cause he got trained. He had to work for that. chains with a kick. He's super skilled with martial arts, dual swords, and oh yeah, fire bending. As a fire bender, Zuko harnessed. Oh yeah, I forgot he 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 able to use um fire able to use lightning. Area that's not too cold. He can manipulate or bend it to his will. I mean, if I plus it's surprisingly versatile. Aside from simply creating, launching, and moving flames, firebending can be used to heat objects, melt through ice prisms, and even defy gravity. Is that guy flying? With fire? Awesome! How does that even work? Well, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction, Newton's third law. By creating a rapid series of explosions an inch or so away from the palm, the air in between the hand and fire is launched toward the user, thereby creating propulsion. Yeah, firebending isn't just about creating fire. It's about creating a bunch of it! So Zuko can make large, long-lasting walls of flame to protect himself and keep enemies at a distance. That fight between him and Azula uh, was, was uh, for us, yeah, though. it's fire. You trying to do the Macarena? Zuko's favorite form, the Dancing Dragon, draws primarily from Northern Shaolin Kung Fu. That's a Chinese martial art that's all about agility, wide stances, and aggressive attacks. A perfect mix of speed and strength. Like this. Especially for the element of fire. Whiz. <laughs> Why? Ha ha ha. Anyway, the fire 
that fenders like Snuko can generate is extremely hot, capable of melting Th to no a shit. door hot. This would need to be over 1200 degrees Celsius. And while Sozin's comet was boosting his power, Zuko's uncle Hyro blasted apart the giant outer wall of Ba Sing Se. There is no war in Ba Sing Se until Hyro comes a knocking. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like the thickest wall I've ever seen, second only to the emotional walls between me and my dad. Even without Sozin's Comet, which only appears once every 100 years, Zuko has more than enough firepower to level a building. That's no laughing matter for any person or building. He's even quick enough to cast lightning and use his fire powers to redirect it wherever he wants it to go. Yeah. Kapow! Suck it, Dad! Oh, shoot, wait, did he just shoot his dad with lightning? Zuko's quest for the Avatar led him down a different path than he expected. Inspired by his kind uncle and the Avatar himself, he joined the heroes on a new journey. One of self-discovery. Yeah, it turns out he didn't need his dad's approval after all. He That's what I'm saying. Prove himself. Now, That's one of the reasons why Avatar is so great, Zuko's right? Zuko's definitely had a heated redemption arc. And now that he's a fire daddy uh, lord, fire lord, his honor keeps burning brighter. Bruh. Right. Crushing on Zuko. What? No. No. <laughs> yeah, you are. It's okay, Wiz. Everybody does. Hello? Is Zuko here? <laughs> That was, that was a tough time for Zuko when he was trying to get the approval of Aang and everybody else, though. More than 80% of the population possesses superhuman abilities known as... All right, let's check out Todoroki. Everyone loves to game a system. There's a superhero leaderboard. At the very top of it stands the ultimate hero, All Might. All Might's feats and reputation were incredible. A true symbol of peace for everyone. That is, everyone except the hero perpetually stuck at rank number two. That's Endeavor, Endeavor. And he vowed to surpass All Might, but his literal firepower was just never enough. But if he couldn't do it himself, he would vicariously through his own heir. Thus, he made the desperate decision to arrange a quirk marriage. Endeavor quickly separated young Todoroki from his supposedly lesser siblings, ruthlessly training him to become the most powerful hero in history. Surprise! Things didn't go so well. He drove Shoto's mind. And that's where he got scored. She broke, pouring boiling water on her son's left side because it reminded her too much of him. Okay, this is getting super heavy for a colorful cartoon about superpowers and frog people. Fortunately, Todoroki never truly fell for his father's disgusting manipulation. He attended UA High School, a hero academy, and worked to use his power for good. Which I do think Endeavor, Endeavor did redeem himself in the last episode of the season photo. Over there. Anyone else notice his facial hair is made of fire? How's that work? From his right side, Todoroki can summon intense bouts of cold, freezing the air or even creating massive glaciers of ice. Talk about overkill! And like a good edgy teen, Shoto named this super iceberg something badass. Heaven piercing ice wall! Oh, you can just taste the self-loathing. He can create sheets of ice to slide on or propel himself yep. forward as if riding a Huey. While he can't manipulate the ice after he's launched it, he has extremely precise control but over its initial release. He can even freeze opponents so thoroughly that they are frozen both inside and out, effortlessly uh. causing necrosis and shattering body parts. Seriously, that's so dark. It's chilling. It really is. Talk about having a cold but I don't think it. Can he, can he generate, generate ice and fire quickly? He's not immune. Can he generate from right from his right side to his left side quick? Genuine joy. Casting too much ice from his right side will cause his body temperature to drop until he falls unconscious, potentially even suffering frostbite. That's why Endeavor chose to mix ice with fire. See, he had the same problem with his own fire quirk. But with cold and hot combined, they could counter each other's weaknesses. Thankfully, Shoto met a friend who helped show him that his fire wasn't his father's. It was his own. <laughs> You tell him Deku! Finally, the that was a dope fight as well. That one got me into my hero. You think he could help my back? It just hurts from carrying the show. While he's much less proficient with fire, given his lack of experience with it, this half of his quirk is identical to Endeavor's. His fire is hot enough to melt Tetsu Tetsu, whose body can turn to steel, which means it can reach temperatures over 1600 degrees. He can blast fire like a raging inferno, form walls of flame to block off areas, and use his evil dead signature technique, flash fire. Flash fire is a method of compressing flame under super hot temperatures before releasing it in a single strike. 
Endeavor can also shape his fire, use it to cling to walls, and fly. But even if he is a huge dick, Endeavor was kinda right. Fire and ice combined put both quirks at their best. Shoto's one of the best in his class, taking hits from a tank like Deku, fighting top tier foes like Sting. Stay. I wish they brought in Stay, but. Who can block Kaminari's electricity? And while he's often criticized for relying too much on his quirk, Todoroki is incredibly smart and a quick thinker, reading and setting traps for his opponents in the blink of an eye. And after all that craziness, he finally packs things up with his mom, and somehow even inspired his dad to try and be a better person. Yep. What a nice story. I wish he could inspire my dad too. Not mama, though. She's already perfect. Well on his way to becoming a successful hero, Shoto Todoroki no longer fights in spite of his father, but for himself and the sake of others. I wanted to. I'll be a hero. Here it is. Right, I still don't know it all. First, let me tell you about Blue Chew. Woo. Uh, who am I going to side with? I'm, I think I'm gonna side a little bit more with Zuko, a little bit. I'm still, I'm still not sure, but if I gotta pick, I'm, if I gotta pick right now, I'm gonna side with Zuko a little bit because Zuko knows um, a little bit of martial martial arts, five bending, five style techniques, whatever, whatever you want to refer to him as, as opposed to Todoroki who just uses, who just uses fire and ice at will. You're not really with technique as much but if Todoroki can transition from fire and ice quick enough to get Zuko then Todoroki will win or if Zuko can get him with his lightning then maybe just I, I don't know bro let me get this let me get this alright um, unless I change it I'm, I'm signed with Zuko unless I can change where am I where am I Uh, who gonna win, bro? A villain? Don't pay for that. No way. I'm not the no, bad guy good. here. I mean, not anymore. Your actions say otherwise. <laughs> like my father. I'll prove I'm better than both of you. Oh, crap. Yeah, but I think Zuko got you with that fire, boy. Ah, he's so clean with it. Bro, they making it look like just like the fight on the um, Avatar and um, Follow Ozai. It can't be. It can't be. That's what I'm saying. Stop playing with my knee. No, come on. I don't care how much power you have. I know who I am. Oh, he talked too much shit. Come on, bro. Shut your ass up. You better use some lightning, boy. Come on now. Oh no. Oh, no. Come on. Okay, talk about cool as hell. That was epic. 
Some told me side with Todoroki. It was a cool fight, but it, it, it's cool. I'll, I'll take that. Yeah. Meant that if he could get close to Todoroki, he could likely end the fight pretty quick. But Shoto's no slouch. The guy may be better at long range, but he's been in scraps before. Like with the super fast, super deadly hero killer Stain. And with all that ice popping up everywhere and his own super sliding and boosting skills, Shoto made it hard for Zuko to get close for long. Plus, the speed difference wasn't all that drastic. Todoroki's fellow student Tokoyami's dark shadow blocked Kaminari's electricity after it had been fired. Quirks are not magic, and there are very few ways for electricity to travel through the air. Lightning is essentially an ionized path that electricity travels through. Kaminari's quirk must use the same method. Dark Shadow blocked Kaminari. Bakugo dodged Dark Shadow, and Todoroki can match Bakugo in a fight. Bada bing, bada boom, that's lightning fast reflexes, baby. While Zuko certainly had more control over fire, Tokoyami right. could easily repel his fire bending with his own flames, not to mention the clear difference in temperature. Zuko may be skilled with fire, but he's not immune to it, nor did he have any reliable counter for fast and massive ice attacks. We don't even need to bust out the calculator for this one, Wiz. That stadium is circled by a four kilometer trek. That's huge. And the edgy ice wall covered almost half of it in less than a second. Zuko didn't have that kind of power spread. Yes, I know fire melts ice, but not instantly when it comes to gigantic glaciers. Oh, uh, I should have thought. Oh, power that first there you go. Sure, Zuko's melted through ice crystals before, but only ones where he could still move or at least breathe. Remember, firebending requires breath and movement. When Azula was trapped in an ice prison so compact she couldn't move or breathe, she was helpless. But like, Shoto could just freeze over Zuko's insides anyway. No way he was surviving that. Zuko might have been an admirable bender and adorable fan favorite, but Todoroki's overwhelming ice, versatile defense, and incredible power were just too much to handle. Zuko uh, I mean, they do got a point. Put him on ice. I can't stand y'all, but y'all do got a point. Zuko, I mean, he couldn't even deal with that when it came to uh, uh, us. Who got next? The Flash versus about time. Go ahead and put this to rest, man. Cancel that jump. About cancel. All right, there you go. About time. Finally put this to rest. The Flash versus Sonic the Hedgehog. About time, bro. Even though I'm a, I'm gonna speak on, I'm gonna speak on the Flash. But I'm gonna speak on uh, Zuko and Todoroki real quick. Now, they got a point with um, Zuko not being able to deal with fire tests like that the way, um, the way Sakura did at the, at the Northern Water Tribe. But I ain't even thinking that jump, bro. But I thought Zuko would at least have a chance with his lightning, bro. I really did. <clears throat> oh. Hold on, my camera. I'm about to shut up. It, it, but like I was saying, uh, if I thought Zuko would at least been able to strike dude, strike Total Rocky with his lightning, bro. At least. Damn, bro. But then again, Total Rocky Ice Style did take over because I ain't even taking long range into consideration. I ain't even take his um uh long long range of tactics in consideration. I should have did that. Damn it, John. Whatever, whatever it is, what it is. I'm back in here one I'm back in here one for one. I don't know I don't know what the total score is, but y'all y'all will see it somewhere on the screen, man. Uh, as far as flash and as far as the flash and sunny, naturally, I think the flash will the Flash is faster than Sonic. I think the Flash will naturally be able to whoop Sonic ass. But with the power-ups and whatnot, I think Sonic will be able to take it. But if they ain't taking none of that into consideration, but if they ain't taking none of that into consideration, then I guess I guess Flash will be able to win. But we don't know. We're just going to have to wait for that next Death Battle video to come in. But till then, I want to vow for Sonic, but I'm more than likely going to have to go with the Flash. But who knows? Who knows? I'm one for one right now. But anyway, hope y'all like that reaction. If y'all like the video, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know who in the comment sections who y'all had y'all money on. Also, if y'all got other videos or whatnot to send me, let me know in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out that video.